Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in. This is Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 105. If you fall off the wagon. So if you fall off the wagon, it means that you've lapsed on your goals or your resolutions. It is January now, but most people striving for success review their resolutions and their goals on a weekly or daily or a monthly or a biannual basis. So it doesn't have to just be January for you to listen to this, but it is very apt. The last few podcasts have all been about goals. So what happens if you've set your goals and you fall off the wagon? So in other words, it doesn't have to just be related to drink. I know I know that expression is used for, for people who are giving up drink for a while and then go back on the drink or drink again and, and, and break their, their goal or break their um break their resolution. But it doesn't have to just be about drinking. It's about any goal. If you if you've set something for yourself, you set a task for yourself and you fall off the wagon. In other words, you you uh, uh, give up temporarily, you screw up temporarily or you mess up or you make a mistake or something happens and it doesn't go your way, what is my advice? Well, do not be shocked to hear that I am going to advise that you get back on the wagon. Now, it sounds so obvious, get back on the wagon and try again. But a lot of people, when their goal, when they when they feel they've made a mistake, whether you have done it to yourself or not, if you've, if you've set yourself up for failure, if you've sabotaged your own goal, you know this. the The exact advice is still this. The advice is still exactly the same, and that is get back on the wagon. So the reason why it sounds so obvious, and yet people can't do it. You know, it's what they say about common sense isn't that common. So it sounds really obvious. Get back on the wagon. But what happens is, when people fail or have a temporary failure, it can paralyze them it can it can make everyone myself included all of us have gone through this at some stage it can make you give up so if you've had a temporary setback it can shake your confidence so badly that you think sure what's the point sure there's no point have you ever said that to yourself you do something you fail so for ex- for example a perfect example is a diet you're supposed to be on a diet especially very apt for this month you're supposed to be losing weight you're supposed to be on a diet and lo and behold, next thing you've got a pizza in front of you, and it's ten o'clock at night, and you're and you're you're going to follow it up with ice cream or chocolate. So you've already screwed up. So what do you do? Do you just go then? Ah, sure. There's no point now. I've I've screwed it up. I wait. May as well wait till next January. Or do you just simply restart, reset the next day? Now I'm not encouraging failure, and I'm not giving you the excuse to fail. I'm not giving you the excuse to fall off the wagon. I'm not. Um, trying to make it easy so you can justify failure. You don't want to be failing. You want to be setting your goals so firmly in place, your plans, your visualization, knowing what you want, knowing how to get what you want. They should be so strong to eliminate any kind of failure. But, you know, it's human human behavior. It's natural life that there is going to be a few hiccups along the way. So it's very important that they don't shake your confidence to the point that you actually give up um, on your goals altogether or or on your, your resolution. Just go back at it, renew your motivation, renew your goals, look back at your action steps and give it a go. Certain things like diet, I know I mentioned diet, it could be many other things, but certain things are like diet are, you know, can be linked chemically as well, you know, so it takes a while to break through the chemical barriers, the addictions um, as well. So it's not necessary. Don't be so hard on yourself that you're putting all the blame, you know, on on your actions or inactions. I mean, there can be other factors involved. So some things take a little bit longer to work out for you than you had planned, and that's goals in general. So if you fall off the wagon, you simply reset. Now that's not giving you an excuse to fall off the wagon every weekend are are to to allow yourself oh you know i can fall off the wagon a few times the success sense they said you know i can i can fail three times this month before i need to get my act together 
it, it doesn't really work out like that because each of those knocks sets you back and hinders your or delay you basically and you know motivation is limited confidence is limited i know it might not appear to be in certain people but i guarantee you it is in yourself it is limited it's not there forever so you don't want to be challenging it you don't want to be testing it. You want to try to keep your motivation high and your confidence high by limiting your failures. Now, it is January, and nobody gets their act together 100% in January. It's harder. It's, you know, it, it depends on where you live, but it's generally colder, it's darker. Um, as I said, you're, you're chemically linked to food or to alcohol, to all the excesses that took place over Christmas, to the endorphins that these things release as well. Um, so, you know, forgive yourself a little bit if there's a couple of setbacks. Try to minimize setbacks. Try to plan to reduce the setbacks. Try to have a proper plan in place. If it does happen, carry on regardless. The very next day or that evening or later on that day, one foot in front of another will carry you forward. Progress is a millimeter at a time. It doesn't have to be massive leaps and bounds, but just keep going forward. Reset don't give up on your goals. Don't give up on your resolutions. Do do what you have to do. Maybe it means look at it a different way or attempt you attempt things a different way. You know, and I know I use food as an example. It was just a, the easiest one to, to refer to this month because it's the one that I hear everybody talking about. But I mean, there's many different options, there's many different routes, there's as many different diets as there are people on the planet. So are variations. So there's many ways to go about it. So if, if you have a temporary setback, remember it's temporary. Even if you, it's, you know, all your, even if it's because you sabotaged yourself, still go easy on yourself and go again. Learn from your mistake. You know, if things don't go ahead for you, it's not, it's not, you know, the be all and end all. If you've had one setback, that's, it's not it. You know, you have, you have more chances at this. It's not right once and you're out. So just give it, give it another go. Hopefully you don't have to do more than a couple, but you know, if you do, it's better that you keep trying than not try at all. So you might just need to renew your motivation or just look, have, ha, renew your goals, have a look at, at your resolutions and, and get back at it. Because as time goes by, it will get easier. Um, I, so back to diet again, because I know I talked about it briefly. There's been many times, many years that what happened to me was um, I decided that I was going to be healthier. I could have been losing weight. Losing weight for a fight was a hell of a lot easier because you're a little bit more motivated. Um, but say just for general health or general aesthetics I might have decided to lose weight so the first the first week I might have actually only eaten right one day out of the week then yes you heard that right I might have actually been bad the six days and eaten right one day then the next week I might have eaten well for two of the days so you can see where this is going five of the days I would have fallen off the wagon then the next week I'm, I'm all right for three days the next week I'm all right for four days then I'm on the five days then I'm on the six days and then I'm so used to it. My body's gotten used to it. It, it doesn't feel um, harsh. It doesn't feel hard. It doesn't feel like I'm depriving myself. Now that's a long, I'm not recommending that that's the path that you go down. And it wasn't my plan. I hadn't planned on doing that, but it was like all the failures added up to success um, over the long haul. So sometimes you need to step back and look at it. Hopefully that's helped you a little bit. Hopefully it's helped you on your path, resolutions and your goals. And as always, I'm here if you want to talk to somebody about your goals, if you want to communicate with me or send me a message. By all means, it's it's a subject I absolutely love. Striving for success in any area of your life. I'd love to hear what you're up to. So let me know. Hit me up with any uh, through any of the links involved. Um, thank you for listening. I'm Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the Success Sensei, fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.